good afternoon to everyone. Is my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Um, so, first I will uh, start. Uh, a solution of PD. Okay. Uh, may, um, I will uh, discuss with you later uh, elimination of arbitrary constant and arbitrary functions a little bit later. So first I will uh, we will discuss a solution of uh, a partial differential equation. So what do you mean by as the solution? A yeah, solution or integral. Okay, both of them are the same meaning. Okay. Sometimes in the question they'll ask instead of find the solution means to find the integral of a PD. A solution or integral of a PD is a relation between the independent and the dependent variables uh, which is satisfies the given PD. Okay. So before this, uh, I want to say actually the PD is a function of x comma y comma z comma p comma q equal to zero. Okay, so this is the general form of uh, PDE. Here, uh, Z is a of some function of, okay, some other function of uh, X and Y. Z is a function of X and Y. So, is, is that is a dependent variable. Z is a dependent variable. X and Y are independent variable. X and Y are independent variable. And uh, you know what it mean by P? P means dou Z by dou X. Q means uh, dou z by dou y. Okay, so these are the notations you should know. Now, oh, again, I'll uh, I'll start. The sol what do you mean by solution? Solution of a PD is the relation between independent variable. What is the independent variable? X X and y are independent variable. Okay, and the dependent variable. The dependent variable means what? Z. So which satisfies the given PD. Okay, so now consider. Is that equal to AX plus BY? Where A and B are arbitrary constants. Where A and B are arbitrary constants. Okay, so now from this uh, dou z by dou x, what is dou z by dou x? Okay, well, a. If you differentiate partially with respect to x, you'll get a. By notation, dou z by dou x is what? P. So P equal to a. Similarly, if you differentiate this equation with respect to y, you'll get dou z by dou y equal to B. So this implies Q is equal to B. So now that means we are uh, eliminating the arbitrary constant. Okay. So the required PD is therefore the required PD is is that equal to A is what? P. So Px plus B yes, is what? Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So this is the record PD. Next, uh, I am going to consider is that equal to x into f of x by y. So actually in the board I cannot write uh, faster than this. But in the blackboard I can easily write a little bit faster. So that's why uh, this is the maximum uh, limit for me. So uh, okay. So is that equal to x into f of x by y. 
So here f is arbitrary constraint. Where f is and arbitrary this way okay okay now uh, where f is an arbitrary function where f is an arbitrary function so you know how to eliminate arbitrary function okay so that first you should differentiate partially with respect to x so dou z by dou x is equal to you are differentiating with respect to x. So this is also x. This is also x. So uv method you need to apply. So this is also a function of x. So keep x. If you differentiate f of x by y, you will get f dash of x by y. Into If you differentiate x by y with respect to x, you will get what? 1 by y. Plus keep f of x, x by y as it is. If you differentiate x with respect to x, you'll get 1. So this is what? Dou z by dou x is what? P is equal to x by y into f dash of x by y plus f of x by y. Now this is P. Similarly, next I am going to find uh, differentiate is that with respect to y. So, dou z by dou y is equal to, uh, you will get what? So, this is actually function of x. So, if you different, so there is no uv here. So, x into, if you differentiate this, you will get what? f dash of uh, x by y. If you differentiate with respect to y, you will get what? Uh, x into 1 by y are differentiate panna, you get what? Minus 1 by y square. This is what? Q. Q is equal to minus x square by y square. Minus x square by y square into f dash of <coughs> f dash of x by y. Okay. Wa. So now uh, I want to eliminate this f. Okay, so P, I'll start from P. I'll start from P. Uh, P is equal to, originally you have what? X by Y. Listen here. Uh, P equal to what? X by Y. F dash of X by Y. So, instead of this F dash of X by Y, I am going to replace from this what is F dash of X by Y? Minus, minus, Q y square by x square. So instead of this f dash of x, f dash of x by y, I this these two are same. Okay. Well. So next plus what is f of x by y from the given problem? What is f of x by y? Z by x. So I am eliminating f from the given problem and from P and from J. Okay, wa. is it clear? Okay, now from this, uh, uh, okay, still you have simplified. So you can do uh, this implies, okay, I'll write in the next, okay, this implies P equal to minus QY. Qy by x square, sorry, x <coughs> by x plus z by x. So now throw out multiply by x, you will get what? You will get xp is equal to minus yq 
plus z or z equal to what or z equal to px plus q oh uh, yeah px is yes, correct uh, adish is that equal to uh, px plus q okay so which, this is what which is the required pd which is the required pd so now you have a, a question so originally we took here what is that equal to ax plus by so here a and b are arbitrary constant if you eliminate a and b we have the pde is that equal to px plus qi okay we have what is that equal to px plus qi this pd now this is what is that equal to x into f of x by y so this is uh, you have the arbitrary function f if you eliminate the arbitrary function you will get the same pd is that equal to px plus qi so now what is the difference between these two solutions okay well. so now for this i am going to give the definition of a uh, complete solution so before this okay before this i will tell what we discussed now okay well. just a summary of the last 10 minutes what we discussed pde what is a pde we took finally we have is that equal to px plus qi so this is the pde we derived in the both case okay the solution we got it solution solutions okay so we got solutions actually the solution is what is that equal to ax plus by so that is one of the solution so this is called the complete solution complete solution and is that equal to x into f of x by y this is called the general solution okay so now uh, suppose this pd is given okay well usually we will find what first complete solution and then we will find what general solution sometimes singular solution is uh, if it is exist we will find singular solution okay so next what do you mean by particular solution particular solution means if you substitute some particular value for example 2x minus 4y okay well. so this is a particular solution of this one similarly is that equal to x into cos of x by y so this is also a particular solution of this one is is that is that equal to what x into f of function of x by y so these are the particular solution of particular solution these are the some of the examples particular solution now we'll go to the definition so what do you mean by complete solution a complete solution or complete integral okay complete integral uh, a solution of a pde which contains as many arbitrary constants as the number of independent variables so here the number of independent variables is what x and y so so a complete solution has what two arbitrary constants a and b or a and c that is called what <coughs> complete solution or complete integral of a equation next a general solution a solution of pde which contains as many arbitrary function as the order of the pde suppose the order of the pde is 1 then we have only one arbitrary functions the order of pd is 2 then we have two arbitrary functions so which is called the general solution or general integral of the equation okay particular solution 
the solution obtained by giving particular values to the arbitrary constants in the complete solution or arbitrary functions in the general solution is called a particular solution or particular integral of the PD. Okay. Next, singular solution. The singular solution will neither contain arbitrary constants nor arbitrary functions, but at the same time cannot be obtained as a particular case of the complete or general solution. Okay. So next heading solutions of first order non-linear PD. Okay. So if you want to discuss uh, uh, non, we are first order only first order. Okay, first order non-linear PD. So before going to discuss non-linear PD, what do you mean by linear PD? Okay, a PD is said to be linear if the dependent variable is that, and its derivative, and its derivative are of degree or power one, and the product of Z and its derivative do not appear in the equation. So this is the definition for linear PD. A PD which is not linear is known as non-linear PD. Okay, just I'll give some of the examples and then I'll uh, uh, go to the uh, procedure. So example one, we can take x square into rho square is by dou x square plus x into dou z by dou y plus y into dou z by dou x plus z equal to e power x plus y. So actually this is a second order because order is 2 and also it is a linear. Okay, well, this is second order linear PD. Second order linear PD. Okay, and uh, x square p plus y square q equal to z. Okay, this is actually what? First order, first order linear PD. Okay, next. Uh, I will give an example of non-linear PD dou square z by dou x square. Okay. <coughs> Whole square plus z square into dou z by dou y. Okay. Is equal to f of x comma y. So this is actually non-linear, non-linear, second order PD. So why it is non-linear? Because here I just I told the dependent variable is that, and its derivative are of degree one. But here is that power is what two. Its derivative power, uh, power degree is also what two, so that's why it is uh, non it is uh, nonlinear. Similarly, and the product of is that product of is that or is that square is a power, and its derivative do not appear. But here I have the uh, the, the product of is that and the derivatives appear here, so that's why uh, this is uh, nonlinear PD. So next, so these are the procedures. Okay, well, just I uh, I don't want to write everything. Okay, just I will explain. If you have a doubt, you can ask me. Procedure to find the general solution. So let earlier I told that the PD a general form is what a function of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to zero. So this is equation one. Be a first order PD. It's complete solution. How to find the complete solution? Replace P by A and Q by B. You will get the complete solution of the given first order PD. So after finding the complete solution, 
okay here where a and b are or arbitrary constant you should write either b is function of a or a is a function of b where f is a arbitrary function so then equation 2 becomes phi of x comma y comma z comma a b is what f of a equal to 0 so i call this is equation number 3 now differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to a so if you differentiate partially with respect to a we have dou phi by dou a plus dou phi by dou b because of phi, phi is about function of a and b because b is what f of a so that's why first i differentiate partially with respect to a means phi I, I need to differentiate phi with respect to a and then phi with respect to what b so dou phi by dou a plus dou phi by dou b but b is a function of a so that's why dou b by dou a equal to zero so that is dou phi by dou a plus dou phi by dou b dou b by dou a dou b by dou a is nothing but f dash of a because uh, this is a function of single variable so that's why uh, dou b by dou a is nothing but what f dash of a so is equal to zero this is equation four so if you eliminate a between equation three and four we will get the general solution of equation one so this is the method to find the general solution next how to find the singular solution so we'll start from the complete solution what is the complete solution this is a, if you replace p by a and q by b you will get the complete solution now differentiate this equation to partially with respect to a and b we get to differentiate partially with respect to a we'll get what dou phi by dou a equal to zero and if you differentiate b with respect to b you'll get what dou phi by dou b equal to zero so now eliminate a and b from equation 2 2 is a complete solution of equation 1 2 3 4 okay if it, it is exist that is called a singular solution of 1 okay okay now before uh, we will solve the problems and then we will go to uh, time permits we will go to clear out equations so now type number 1 So type one. Okay, uh, heading is uh, first order. Nonlinear. PD of standard times. Type one F of P comma Q is equal to zero. Okay. First of all, solve P square plus Q square equal to N P Q. Okay, so let us take this is uh, equation number one. Okay, now to find the, I'll, I'll split this uh, problem into three parts. One is first part to find complete solution. To find complete solution. So let us take is that equal to ax plus by plus c be a solution of equation one. Be a solution of equation one. Then from this dou z by dou x is equal to a. So this implies p equal to what? A. 
and do z by do y equal to b. So this implies q equal to what b. So now from equation one implies equation one implies we have what a square plus b square equal to n a b n a b or you can rewrite b square minus n a b plus a square equal to zero. So this is actually quadratic equation. You can consider this is a quadratic equation B or quadratic equation A. Okay, now I have consider this is a quadratic equation B. So actually, what is capital A here? Capital A is one. Capital B is uh, minus n a. Capital C is what? A square. So a x square plus uh, b x plus c equal to zero. So now I am solving for b. Solving for b, so b equal to okay uh, minus b, so minus of minus n a plus n a plus r minus root of b square n square a square minus four a c by two a. So if you simplify this, you get n a plus or minus. I think here a square is common, so a root of n square minus four by two. So here a is common, so you can write b equal to a by two into n plus or minus root of n square minus four. So here b is a function of a. So the complete solution of complete solution of equation one is is that equal to a x plus b. B is what a by two into n plus r minus root of n square minus 4 okay wow. so this is b into y b, ax plus by plus c okay already i told that already i told that what do you mean by complete solution the definition the complete solution means uh, it contains as many arbitrary constant as the number of independent variable okay wow. so it should contain Two arbitrary constants because x and y are what independent variable. But here a, b, c, three arbitrary constants. So that's why I writing either b is a function of a or a is a function of b. I reduce to the number of arbitrary constants is what only two. So a and c, where a and c are arbitrary constants. A and B are arbitrary constant. Okay, first part is over. Second part, what is the second part? To find the general solution. To find general solution. So we we'll start from the complete solution. Okay, Co complete solution of equation one. Equation one is is that equal to a x plus b is what a by two. Please check it. N plus r minus root of n square minus four into y plus c. I call this is equation number 2. This is a complete solution. So now, you should replace c by 
function of a you can check the procedure okay well, c equal to some function of a where f is the arbitrary function so where f is the arbitrary function so now we'll get z equal to ax plus a by 2 into n plus or minus root of n square minus 4 into y plus c is what f of a i call this is equation number 3 okay. now differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to a so we get 0 equal to x plus 1 by 2 into n plus or minus root of n square minus 4 into y plus f dash of a. Okay, so we call this is equation number uh, 4. Okay, eliminate A between between equation three and four we get the general solution of equation one. We get the general solution of equation one. Okay, second part is over. Next, last part, third part, to find the single solution. But here, uh, we will write uh, to eliminate A between 3 and 4, but we will never eliminate. Okay, well, there is no need to do as exam point of view. So, just write eliminate A between 3 and 4, we get the general solution. So, that is enough. Okay, so next, to find single solution okay so now again we start from complete solution of equation 1 complete solution of equation 1 is is that equal to ax plus a by 2 into n plus or minus root of n square minus 4 into y plus c actually this is equation number 2 okay now the, the procedure i gave we need to differentiate this equation complete solution partially with respect to Partially with respect to what? Differentiate to partially with respect to A and what? C. A and C. We get, if you differentiate partially with respect to A, you will get what? 0 equal to x plus 1 by 2 into n plus or minus root of n square minus 4 into y okay well, we call this is equation number already what already gave uh, three four okay well, five three five okay. now and if you differentiate the same equation two with respect to c let left side is zero right side will get one so this is uh, six but which is not possible okay which is not not uh, possible possible because zero equal to one so therefore there is no singular solution of equation one simplies are uh, therefore there is no singular solution
solution of equation 1. So in general for type 1, there is no single solution. So only complete and general solutions are enough. Okay. So I will solve one more problem. And then because time is already uh, uh, 8, 10 nearly. So solve. I planned five problems, but I cannot finish. Okay. Solve q square minus 3q plus p equal to 2. Okay. This is the problem solution. Okay. Directly hereafter, I will write directly because I don't write each steps now. So complete solution. Okay. Complete solution is what? A square. Okay, first you can start like this. This, this is actually what P uh, P. Okay. So let is that equal to AX plus uh, BY plus C be a solution of equation one. Be a solution of equation one. So from this we have what P equal to A and q equal to b okay wow. so equation 1 implies b square minus 3a plus a equal to 2 okay wow. now either you can write b in terms of a or a in terms of b but it is better to write a in terms of b okay because b is in quadratic so a is equal to 2 minus uh, b okay i think uh, Sir, it is b square minus 3b plus a. Okay, thank you. b square minus 3b plus Okay. So now, a is equal to uh, 2 minus uh, b square plus 3b. Okay. So now, a is a function of b. So complete solution of equation 1 is... Equation 1 is, uh, we will get what? Is that equal to A? Instead of A, you have what? 2 minus B square plus 3B into X plus BY plus C. So now we have only two arbitrary constants, B and X, where B and C are arbitrary constants. arbitrary constants. So, first part is over, second part is what? General solution. Okay, well, to find the general solution, we we'll start from, to find the general solution, we we'll start from complete solution. Complete solution is what? I'll write short form, CS, CS is, is that equal to 2 minus b square plus 3b into x plus by plus c. I call this is equation number 2. And then replace c by some function of b. So put c equal to function of b. So you will get z equal to 2 minus b square plus 3b into x plus uh, by plus f of b. I call this is equation number 3. Okay. Now differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to b. Three partially with respect to b. So we get a 0 equal to minus 2b plus 3 into x plus f dash of b. 
sorry, plus uh, y plus y plus f dash of b. Call this is equation 4. So eliminate b from 3 and the 4, we will get the general solution of equation 1. Eliminate b from equation 3 and 4, we get the general solution of equation 1. Okay, now, so one more problem, I will do it. I will stop at exactly at 8.30. So the next problem is, uh, solve PQ plus P plus Q equal to Z. Okay, so this is the problem. So to find the complete solution, okay, well, first part is what? To find CS, complete solution. So it should, it should start from, uh, it will start from, let us take Z equal to what? Z equal to AX plus BY plus C be a solution of equation 1. Be a solution of equation. So from this P equal to A and Q equal to what? B. So substitute here AB plus A plus B equal to 0. Okay. <coughs> Either you can write A in terms of B or B in terms of A. If you group these two, you get what? B into A plus 1 equal to minus A. So B equal to minus a by a plus 1. So now complete solution of equation 1 is cs. Okay, complete solution of equation 1 is is that equal to ax b is what? Minus a by a plus 1 into y plus c. I call this is equation number 2 where a and c are arbitrary constants. Okay, next to, to find the general solution, to find GS, okay, so again we should start from complete solution, what is the complete solution, is that equal to AX minus uh, A by A plus 1 into Y plus C, so replace C by function of A, is that equal to AX minus A by A plus 1 into Y plus C is what? Function of A. This is equation 3. Differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to A. Partially with respect to so A. You will get 0 equal to uh, A means X minus here U by V method. P P A plus 1 whole square. Okay, well, A plus 1 into if you differentiate A with respect to A, you get 1 minus A into if you differentiate denominator with respect to A, you get 1 into Y plus F dash of A. Okay, now if you simplify 0 equal to X, A minus A gets cancelled. So you'll get what? Uh, minus 1 na. minus 1 by a plus 1 whole square into y plus f dash of a. I call this is equation number 4. Eliminate a between equation 3 and 4, we will get the general solution of equation 1. Eliminate a uh, between a equation three and four. Uh, 
3 and 4, we get uh, a general solution, GS, general solution of equation 1, the, the given problem. Okay. And then the next problem is uh, solve root P plus root Q is equal to 1. Okay. So I think this problem you can easily solve. Okay. Well, so what is the what is uh, what is p p equal to a q equal to what b so root a plus root b equal to one from this uh, root b is what root b is one minus root a from this uh, b is what one minus uh, root a whole square so the complete solution is is that equal to a x plus b Hello, sir. Uh, So AX plus B, B is what? 1 minus uh, root A whole square into Y plus C. So this is the complete solution. To find the general solution, again, you need to do what? Replace C by what? F of A. So to find the, to find the general solution, so complete solution is, is that equal to what? AX plus b, b is what, b is uh, 1 minus root a whole square, b into y plus c, so replace the c by some function of a, you will get z equal to ax plus 1 minus root a whole square into y plus some function of a. This is actually equation 2. This is equation 3. Differentiate equation 3 partially with respect to A. We we'll get uh, 0 equal to x uh, plus 2 into 1 minus root A. If you differentiate 1 minus root A, you'll get uh, root A, you'll get minus 1 by 2 root A into y plus f dash of a. So 2 2 gets cancelled. So 0 equal to x minus 1 minus root a divided by root a into y plus f dash of a. I call this is equation number 4. So eliminate a between equation 3 and 4. Eliminate A between equation 3 and 4, we get the general solution of 1, equation 1. We get GS, okay, uh, general solution of equation 1. The, you can try this is a practice problem. So solve PQ, sorry. P, uh, okay, PQ is equal to K. This is the first problem. The second problem, P plus Q equal to PQ. And then third problem, P square minus 2PQ. 2pq plus 3q equal to 5. Okay. So next to type, type 2, Clairard's equation. So I will solve one problem from Clairard's equation and then uh, we will, a simple problem, I will take it. Okay. So type 2, Clairard's equation. 
So general form of the Clarets equation is z equal to px plus qy plus function of pq. So you know already. So where p is what? Do z by do x plus and q equal to what? Do z by do y. So how to get the complete solution? The complete solution of Clarets equation is just to replace p by a and q by b. You will get z equal to ax plus uh, by plus what? Function of p comma q. So, which is obtained by replacing P by A and Q by B. Next, general solution and a single solution can be found out as usual. Okay, but usually in the Clarence uh, equation, we will, we will find only the complete and the singular solution. There is no need to find what? General solution. If you wish, you can find. Okay. First problem. Solve. Is that equal to px plus qy plus p square minus q square? So first uh, you should identify this is of the form Clarence equation. Okay. So which is of the form equation one, which is of the form Clarence equation. This is a Clarence equation. Okay, so now uh, complete solution. Complete solution of equation one is is that equal to ax plus by plus this is actually p, okay, plus a square minus b square. So where A and B are arbitrary constants, you can write here, where A and B are arbitrary constants. Okay. So next, uh, to find the singular solution, I am not finding the general solution, if you wish, you can find. to find singular solution. So usually uh, I call this is equation two. So how you find the uh, singular solution? It will start from complete solution. So CS, complete solution is, is that equal to AX plus uh, BY plus A square minus B square. Okay. Now, if you differentiate equation two partially with respect to A and B, so differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to A first. Okay, A and B. A and B. So first if you differentiate partially with respect to A, what you get? 0 equal to x plus 2A. Okay. From this, uh, what is A? A equal to minus x by 2. If you differentiate 2 partially with respect to b, you get what? 0 equal to y minus 2b. From this, what is b? 2b equal to y. So y, b equal to y by 2. Now, substitute the value of a and b in equation 2. You will get the singular solution. That's all over. So equation 2 implies now. is that equal to a x a is what minus x by 2 into x plus b y b is y by 2 into y plus a square a square is x square by 4 minus b square b square is y square by 4 So is that equal to minus x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus x square by 4 
minus whole square by 4. So if you simplify, if you group these two, if you group these two, you'll get x equal to uh, minus x square by 4 plus y square by 4. Or 4 is at or 4 is at is equal to minus x square plus y square. So which is the singular solution of equation 1. Which is singular solution of equation. Okay, so I'll stop here. So, okay, we will discuss. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm uh, at the same time. I will inform through also group. Okay, thank you, thank you, everyone. If you have any doubts, you can ask now, or you can post in the group. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. So try to uh, find out my uh, mistakes. Okay, wow. so that is very important. Suppose if I done. Okay, thank you, Ma. Uh, if suppose uh, if I done any mistake, uh, you, if you tell, then I, I will change. I will change it quickly. Okay, wow. so so okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.